Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I have come up with an interesting economic theory. So, in the previous video, we had talked about the demographic transition theory which states that in the third stage of demographic transition, there is a decline in the birth rate as well as the death rate. So, the economist wanted to study the reason for a decline in the birth rate in the third stage of the demographic theory. So, they have come up with an important and an interesting theory called the microeconomic household theory of fertility. Now, this theory talks about the convention behavior of consumers. That is, consumers are considered to be rational and they would want to maximize the satisfaction that they get, gain from the consumption of goods which are subject to the income and also the prices of the goods. So this, this theory is applied to the fertility analysis. The children are considered as a special type of consumption good. So fertility becomes an rational economic decision in response to the number of children a family would have relative to other goods. The income and substitution effects are assumed to be applied. So now the demand for children is considered to be the function of income of the family, net price of the children that is the difference between the cost of having the children, that is the mother's time which she could have used in earning money and the benefit derived from having the children, that is the children's income and the old age support. The price of the other goods and also the taste for the goods relative to children. So now let's study the relationship of demand with each of the other elements. So the differentiation of CD that is the child demanded upon the income is greater than zero which means that there is a direct relationship between income and the number of children demanded. That is as the income increases the demand for the children also increases. Differentiation of child demanded upon the price of the child is less than zero, which means there is an inverse relationship between the two. As the net price of the children bearing a child increases, the lower the quantity of children will be demanded. Thirdly, there is a direct relationship between the child demanded and the prices of the other goods which means as the price of the other goods related to children increases the greater quantity of children will be demanded lastly there is an inverse relationship between the child demanded and the taste for the other goods now the greater the strength of the taste for goods related to children, the fewer will be the children demanding. So now let's see this in a diagrammatic form. Now in this, we have taken the number of children desired on the x-axis and the consumer consumption of goods by the parents on the y-axis. And this, In this, we have measured the combination of goods which a parent can have in order to maximize the satisfaction through IC curves. And there is a budget line AB which measures the amount of goods that children, the amount of goods 
the and the children that family could have given to their budget constraints which means they can have any combination below or on the budget line but nothing beyond the budget line so now let's take ab which is the budget line and ic2 which is the indifference curve now they intersect each other at point f which is the optimum point now at point f g2 is a quantity of good demanded and c3 that is oc3 is the quantity of children demanded now let's assume that the prices of children becomes more relative to the prices of goods that is now the children are expensive as compared to the other goods so we will uh, so the shift to the left hand side so the new budget constraint that we have is a b double dash now that is the new budget line and i c 1 is the new and difference curve which means that e is the optimum point and a family can have o c 1 quantity of goods and o c 1 number of children now let's see what happens if the income of the family increases which means the budget line shifts from ab to a dash b dash now at this point h is the optimum point and ic4 is the indifference curve now we all know that as we go on the higher ic curves that is the indifference curve we are getting greater quantity of both the goods so definitely the point h is higher than point f that is at point h a family gets more of both the goods and the children now let's consider another situation wherein the prices of of bearing a child has increased that is now the tax on having more number of children has increased but at the same time there is more opportunity that is the increase there is the income of the family increases that is now the, the income has also raised but at the same time the price of having children is also raised which means now the new budget line is cd at this point ic3 is the indifference curve and g is the optimum point at this point family can have og3 goods and oc2 number of children so now we have seen how at different point the demand for goods and children varies so this is how the micro fertility household theory of fertility is visualized it shows how the government policies can impact the number of children a household can have i hope guys you enjoyed this video and if you like this video do share it with your friends and don't forget to 